He's taking on the big shots and working hard to get you answers. Eight on your side, Steve Andrews investigates. An eight on your side investigation into why the VA failed this veteran has two members of Congress demanding answers. They want to know why doctors at the VA could not figure out what was wrong with veteran Mike Henry. They also want to know if this veteran was mistreated while he was a patient at Bay Pines. Mike Henry told 8 on Your Side senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews that one doctor called him a faker and even grabbed and shook him. Yeah, now the VA says it investigated that allegation but could not confirm it. And after months of tests, it also could not confirm what the heck was wrong with Mike Henry. <laughs> Two Florida congressmen wanted a why for months. The VA couldn't figure out what caused veteran Mike Henry's severe pain. Congressman Gus Bilirakis labels it VA incompetence. It's inexcusable. To, for, for the veteran to have that type of pain. Following my Thursday report detailing the inability of Bay Pines to diagnose Mike's problem, Congressman Charlie Crist is reaching out to ensure he's receiving the medical care, support, and assistance he needs. So is Gus Bilirakis. I'll go over to his house uh, and talk to him personally. Uh, that way I get a better understanding of what happened and I hear directly from him and his wife. Uh, and then we'll go to work for him. Mike's medical issues flared up in June. Severe swelling in his shoulder, neck, and face caused excruciating pain. Why couldn't Bay Pines figure it out? In an email, it said, the symptoms Mr. Henry presented were evaluated. Laboratory tests and imaging results were not conclusive. Nonetheless, a VA doctor concluded, this patient has no active neurological disease to require further attention from our neurology service. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm going to sit here and die. Mike left Bay Pines. He went to Tampa General Hospital. Doctors quickly determined a neurological problem triggered uncontrollable muscle contractions. According to Mike, one VA doctor called him a faker and a drug seeker. His wife, Shelley, says her husband suffered tremendously at the VA. It breaks my heart to see that happen to anybody, especially him, and especially veterans. The way veterans are treated, they're, they're treated like garbage. They're treated like garbage in this country, especially by the VA. It's very sad. Now, this email from the VA claims it offered to refer Mike to outside specialists, but he declined. It states that he left the hospital against medical advice. And get this, it also says if I have evidence that Mike was mistreated, please report that Steve Andrews did not provide that information to the VA. Let me make one thing clear, okay? If I had hard evidence that a doctor grabbed this guy and shook him, It'd be on the air already. Right. Yeah, you know, raising, raising the question against you, which seems odd, but you're, you're talking about this email here. Does that email also go into them taking responsibility for maybe misdiagnosing this in the first place? No, no diagnosis at all, actually. So and it, it does not. And it also doesn't mention that Mike went to outside specialists on his own because the VA didn't approve the visits, and he ran up medical costs of close to $200,000. Congressman Bill Rackers wants all of this investigated. I think that's a good idea. Charlie Chris down as well. So yep. Both of them working it. Thank you, Steve. And if you have a problem you would like Steve to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.